Now this weekend, when the Colorado Rapids travel to Kansas City, a special Denver team will also be making the trip. High school students will suit up in official Rapids gear to take the field following the Rapids game. Molly Hendrickson introduces us to the Special Olympics Unified Team. Come up here. Come on, keep fighting. Take it all the way. The Unified Soccer Team outside Denver's Kennedy High School practicing for the last time before Saturday's big game. Students with and without developmental disabilities partnering together. Our partners have certain strengths and they work with the kids to really get them to become better and have more strengths in those areas. So we help like give advice to the kids like tips on how to do this. So I guess we're kind of coaches but we're more like teammates. Oh! The Special Olympics provides funding and support for the unified team. The program's goal, foster leadership, accomplishment, and respect. They don't view it as a competition. They just view it as fun. And it's like relieving to just be able to play with kids who just want to play. Yeah, cheers. That it gives opportunities for all of our kids, not just students who have disabilities, but our students who don't. And for them to be able to have an understanding of, of some challenges that kids may or may not have. The Colorado Rapids selected this team to take on the unified team from Kansas. And we're just going to have fun and we're just going to play and hopefully we win. <laughs> But I think they've worked really hard and they've grown a lot, so we'll see how it goes on Saturday. One, two, three, two, three. Molly Hendrickson, 7 News. So think good thoughts for a win yes. on Saturday. By the way, and I didn't know this, 150 Colorado schools have Special Olympics Unified teams. That's so neat. 7 mm -hmm. News is proud to sponsor the Special Olympics Unified Relay across America. And that torch arrives here in Colorado, by the way, next month. We're all excited about that.